Hey, good morning, guys. So, yeah. Got my coffee. MT Homestead, go check them out. Really great channel, really awesome people. Um, so, today is my Saturday, or, well, it is Saturday. <laughs> it's my day off. Um, and yesterday, I got something in the mail. It's really cool. I got flies flying around inside the bus. I got the windows open and everything. But check this out. My Milwaukee Tough Shell M12 jacket came in in size extra large. It's a little big. Um, let me uh, let me try it on for you guys here. Let me see if I can back up and uh, get it put on. The only real complaint I have is it's kind of noisy, right? Now, the inside of the jacket is great. Um, it's kind of that uh, silky kind of material. But this thing, listen... That is, that's pretty noisy. All right, so that's really, I think, my only real complaint. Um, oops, I just hit hit my guitar with the chair here. Let me zip this up. So I can zip it up like that. It's got nice big pockets that I'll be able to fit my uh, electric heated gloves into. Um, the pockets are heated. I turned it on uh, yesterday. And so the pockets are heated. The chest is heated. The back is heated. Um, yeah, I don't know about the lower lumbar. I, I didn't really, I couldn't tell if that was heated. Um, it's a little big, you know, nice and roomy. Uh, you do have Velcro right here on the, the cuff. So you can actually, you know, you can adjust that so it doesn't slide down. And so that it's not like too tight, you know. And so the bulkiness in the arms is not a not a major factor. It's just you can see the wrinkles in it. How it's it's kind of long. It's I guess it's great. Uh, here's the little plug in. Right, it goes in this little pocket right here. Which this pocket and the front pocket are kind of you know intertwined. Right. Uh, it's actually easier to bring this cord through here, zip up this back pocket, and. This here's the battery. Let me uh, sit down and talk about this with you guys a little bit. So here's the battery. That's the battery right there. Red lithium. All right. M12. This is the charger. Okay. All right. This right here is where you plug in the cord for the jacket. And you got a nice, fairly long cord here. So you plug that in right here. It's like that. All right. Uh, then you have a light right here on the top. That right there, when you have it plugged in and charging, you have to plug in this right here, a micro USB. All right, it's got a nice little rubber cover to keep uh, stuff in your pocket from getting into it. You got this little power button right here that you press that, and it shows you how many bars or whatever, how much battery level you have. Get out of here, fly. <laughs> Dead gum flies. And then, right here, you have a USB 3.0, I think they're called. Uh, you can uh, plug in, like, your phone or whatever. Let's see here. We can actually grab this cord right here. All right. And I got this phone right here. So I can plug this in. See if we can do this on camera. Plug that in. There you go. And it's charging my phone now. So that's pretty cool. Um, so this right here, they say will run up to 12 hours heating the jacket. So let me plug this in into the jacket real quick here. And then you hold this. You have two different things. You got the main one right here. Press and hold for two seconds. That turns on on full blast. Press it. It goes down one bar. Press it again. It goes down to the lowest setting. Press this one. I think this is for heat in the back. And the same thing. Press it because it goes automatically to full blast. Press it again. You're down at the lowest setting. So you have high, medium, and low. Press it again. It goes back up to high. Same thing with this one. Then I'm going to have heat on the front, the back, and in the, the hand pockets. So 
turn it off, you just press for two seconds. That's already, I can feel it getting warm. We'll turn that off. The only thing is kind of annoying is there's not like a flap or anything to cover that up. Probably not a big deal, but like people are going to see if you got your jacket on or whatever. They'll be like, what's that light on your jacket? Well, I guess that could be a conversation starter. So this right here, uh, the collar is pretty cool. I mean, it's a lot like my leather jacket, but you know, I like that. When I'm riding the motorcycle, I can zip this thing all the way up. And with my helmet and everything, this is going to block the wind off of my neck, which is a, a huge factor uh, when riding a motorcycle. That's what I got this jacket mainly for, is to put on underneath my leather jacket and uh, be able to you know, extend my riding season. Now, this thing is really great for, let's say, when you're out there splitting wood or whatever. Um, like I had it on last night, it got a little chilly, it rained a little bit, um, and I was out there splitting wood, which brings me to the next item, and this jacket worked really great. So anyways, I got a Gerber, little, it's kind of a shorter, uh, mid-size axe, and I think I'm going to end up incorporating this into my, this will end up being my felling, my felling and my splitting axe. Uh, I use it for splitting wood here in the bus. This thing is pretty stinking sharp. It's it's good for chopping. It's good for splitting, um, you know, like splitting kindling and stuff like this. It works really good for that. Um, I like it. It's fairly lightweight. Uh, yeah, I think it'll fit perfectly in the scabbard in my felling belt, and I'll be able to pound wedges with it. I was a little skeptical about this plastic right here, but um, a lot of people swear by these. They absolutely like these, so yeah, not sponsored. I just bought this uh, actually from Orsland Farm and Home, and I was able to you know put it in my backpack, and it kind of stuck up like that above my head on the motorcycle. Um, that's probably the only real kind of downfall is the handle is a little bit longer uh, than let's say like a regular hatchet and so I was looking for an axe that is just kind of mid-size all good all the way around not super heavy or anything that I could maybe put on the motorcycle in the uh, in the the side bags or whatever when when they come in I don't know when they're gonna be here it's been a good bit already I like this little handle uh, it keeps this from getting the, the edge from getting messed up uh, if I was to put this in my saddlebags, this little thing right here is going to keep the axe from tearing up the saddlebags. And you got this cool little, this is how you take it out, right? Flip that and then just boom, just like that. So that's nice. It's a nice little carrying handle that positively locks in there. Just Gerber has really come up with a good product, guys. This right here, the handle is hollow. Now, what would be really cool is if they made a knife or something that goes in here. So, I mean, the, the, that would probably make the ultimate survival axe if they had a good bushcrafting knife that goes in here. Uh, I think that would be pretty sweet. So, there you go, Gerber. If you want to improve on your already awesome product, make a little uh, knife that goes right there and snaps in in the handle that would be really cool uh maybe if you made it with a a sheath where the sheath snaps in here so you can actually take that out and the knife still be in a sheath i think that'd be really cool uh so anyways i've got lots of products to start doing some reviews on i'm just going to show them to you guys this is just kind of a taken the place of my morning live streams um, a company reached out to me a while back about uh, you know sending me some uh, 12 volt LED lighting for like under cabinet lighting in the bus um, and I told them yeah sure send it to me and uh, you know because I could use that product they didn't send it right they sent these right here some gardening auger bits and they want me to do a video on these you got different diameter. You got a four inch, a three inch, then you got an inch and a half or 1.6 inch diameter. Uh, that's like 16 inches long. And then one that's like nine inches long. 
Uh, these right here kind of have like a flat blade sort of thing on the tent, which I think could be helpful, uh, especially in kind of rocky ground. It could help move the rocks in the ground to help the auger go on down. These are meant for planting. Now, I'm supposed to do a video on using these and test them out and everything, and I'm sure they're going to work fine. Uh, this one right here, this one that's 16 inches long, I, I don't have a clue what I'm going to use that for. Uh, maybe just set and post in the ground or something. I don't know. Uh, I actually do have one of these right here. I think it's probably the three inch that I bought and I used it a little bit in the, the yard. Uh, I have really rocky uh, clay and rock soil here. And so any auger like this that just has a straight point like that is going to have a hard time digging in my ground. But these are really meant for like gardening. Uh, if you want to plant a tree or something like that, you hook your drill to this, your cordless drill. You can drill in the ground and plant your tree fairly quickly and easily. Um, so you got a little four inch one here. That's going to play heck on any cordless drill, but it'd be a handy little thing. You know, if you need to set uh, some small fence posts, let's say maybe you're trying to put a picket fence around your garden to keep the rabbits and stuff out of your garden. Very handy. Um, and then they also came with these little gardening gloves right here. Uh, not the highest quality, but, you know, that's to me, that's kind of just an added benefit, uh, what they threw in with that. Came in a nice little box. There's the uh, EV Edge, EV Age, E V E A G E. That's the, the brand name. And here's the sizes of those bits. It's probably backwards, or at least it is on my side. But yeah, that's the brand and everything. Um, and they're wanting me to do a video, and I'm like, it's kind of the wrong time of year for me to to be planting stuff, you know. Um, so I don't know. I I guess I'm gonna have to plant something. Uh, maybe I'll go dig up a tree and transplant. I actually there's I know there's a little shrub tree out here that I kind of like it, but it needs moved. It's growing in the wrong spot. Let me show you here. And let me zoom you in. So there's that little tree shrub thing right there growing. And it's kind of in a spot I don't want it to be right there. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do today. Um, I've, I've been kind of thinking about throwing a log on the mill and doing a little bit of milling. Uh, if I do that, I'll probably end up doing another video of that. Um, I definitely, I'm going to have to do a, a video today, some recording just showing me uh, adjusting the valves on the motorcycle to try to just to do a video on that. Um, I only know of one other video out there on YouTube that shows how to do it. So I'm going to try to do a video on that. Uh, well, there's actually two videos. It's from the same guy. Um that I've seen that shows how to do that. And it, they're very long videos. And so I kind of just want to make a short and sweet version. Uh, that's basically just going to kind of show how to do it. Uh, just to try to put it out there a, a better version, I guess. I don't know. So anyways, that's what I've got going this morning. Try to get my coffee. Mm. <sighs> got a little bug or something flew in my coffee dadgummit they ruined my coffee uh but anyways here's curious george say bye y'all <laughs> we'll see y'all in the next one later